so as you can tell, it's a bit of a no makeup kind of day today. Um, but what I wanted to do today is long overdue. I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves. I'll kind of show you a before um, so you can kind of see what kind of disaster state it's in currently. Um, basically, I moved into my apartment about a year and a half ago and I just wanted everything out of the boxes. So my parents helped out. They kind of put things together where they knew so like they put the Harry Potter series together like the Twilight is all, all together kind of thing but everything else is kind of just in shambles we just kind of threw everything on the shelves um, and I've been meaning to reorganize for a year and a half and I haven't because I'm a procrastinator what can I say um, but yeah so I'm just gonna start by organizing I don't really know how I'm going to organize everything on the shelves yet um, but I'll walk you through what I currently have going on and then yeah so as you can see, I have this kind of um, console shelf set um, from Ikea. Um, a couple things I'm not going to change. I'm not really going to touch the tops of my shelves today because I don't really know what I want to do with them. Over here I have kind of my coffee table books. I have my Munchworks from when I was a kid and I also have my um, Ghibli art books which by the way I don't know if they sell these anymore I bought these years and years and years and years ago but they are beautiful if you're a fan of Ghibli. Um, so kind of back to the shelves they're honestly in like random order right now obviously I've stuck my Sanderson because that's a newer um, series I've got some like sheet music lying around um, I've got on this side all my like piano music and violin music and then I have some like yearbooks and then a random assortment of stuff some cookbooks um, some stuff like behind the TV as well because I just couldn't fit everything on these are all my Tamora Pierce mass market paperbacks um, some my series of unfortunate events all the Percy Jackson that I have in hard copy um, my Harry Potters I'm, I know I'm missing the first two I lent them to my cousin um, and then just a couple other sorted sort of stuff here and then over here, sorry for the shaky cam, um, yeah, I have a bunch of like books, a lot of them, to be honest, a lot of my books are from when I was younger. So when I moved, I kind of purged my collection a lot, kept some of my old faves, like childhood faves, um, obviously the ones I didn't read and was planning to read, I've also kept those, but for the most part, these books are from when I was a kid and I used to actually like purchase a lot of paperbacks um, whereas now I mostly read through ebooks that's kind of my preferred medium um, I'm kind of planning on moving kind of the music stuff here just because that's where my piano is and then because of that I think I'll probably group all the like non-fiction cookbooks that kind of stuff all together um, but yeah we'll see um, I'm a very disorganized person I'm just gonna put on some music and get to work and see you in a bit. taking a quick break to kind of show you how I've organized everything. These are all my like nonfiction books. Ironically, I said I don't read a lot of nonfiction. I haven't read most of these books, but they're the books I want to read or they're like books from when I was in college and stuff. Um, some yearbooks and that kind of thing. Um, this is the most chaotic section, if you will. This is kind of my like middle grade and YA section. Um, I've kind of grouped them by like author and series. I have a whole like Meg Cabot section here. Um, I was really into her when I was a teen so that's all kind of together. Um, I have kind of like the middle grade YA like fantasy series. My like teen teen horror witchy kind of phase and then I just have some like standalones as well um, obviously Twilight a classic um, here I have my romances these are like the teen romances and then these are just like other ones um, here I just have like contemporary standalones um, historical fiction 
not a huge pile. I have to make a choice. I don't know if the illegal is meant to be like historical fiction. I don't think it is. But because Book of Negroes is here and I wanted to keep the authors together. So I'm going to put those together. Um, yeah, again, these are um, standalones. This is kind of like my thrillery pile, my Stephen King pile, and then my fantasy pile plus one sci-fi book, which is, I believe, self-published. I got it at, like, a book fair for free. Might read it one day. I don't know. I was just given the book. Um, I'm putting 1Q84 here. I haven't actually read it fully, but it's, like, magical realism-ish, so I'm just going to put it in with my fantasy books. And then here I have all my classics, um, or classic-esque type books. Um, so, yeah. And there's my cat. So we're tentatively done. I guess I guess I'll kind of like show you what I have. These are the um, contemporary standalones. I ended up putting Catch Twenty Two here just because I thought it looked good. Um, here we have all my fantasy books, and then I actually ended. I originally had Lord of the Rings in the classic series, in in the classic section, but then I ended up putting it here with fantasy. Obviously, um, here are my romances, and. Then down here, I have my historical fiction and also like thrillers and Stephen King. Here I have, I have my classics. I have my classics um, up to here. And then here I have some science or sorry, nonfiction kind of books that I couldn't fit over there. And then my Meg Cabot collection. Um, and then up here I have kind of my collectible, nice-looking books. Um, can you move, please? Move, please. Thank you. Um, here I have two series, Twilight, and then the, like, I don't even remember what that series is called, but the Libra Bray um, books. Here I have, I've had to kind of go, as you can kind of tell with, with before, I've kind of had to, like, go upwards with these shelves because they're, they're not really bookshelves, they're like decoration shelves. So they're pretty tall, but they're not very wide. So just to fit everything nicely, or better rather, I've kind of gone upwards with all my series. Um, so obviously I have a series of unfortunate events. You'll notice that I don't have the last book. Looking, I'm um, picking that up, but I do want to make sure it matches this series. Um, I have the Northern, Northern Lights. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, my Percy Jackson books. I only have the first four. I started buying ebooks after that, so yeah. And then I have Harry Potter. It kind of annoys me that I can't have it. So the way I've done all the other series is it starts from the bottom to the top. Harry Potter, I didn't do that just because the first books are my paperbacks, and then I have hardbacks for the rest of them. So I've kind of gone in reverse, reverse order, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. This shelf is my. Oh, I'm like out of breath from like cleaning. But this shelf is kind of my middle grade um, miscellaneous ones. So I have all the Tamora Pierce books there. Um, I have kind of some standalones. I have the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Um, this random series, which I think is meant to be a trilogy. I don't think I actually ever finished it, but I remember really liking that when I was a kid. Um, a few kids books here. Um, some like old favorites like Ella Enchanted, Shiloh, um, a random, my one and only like French book. <laughs> um, a couple of series here. I'm missing a book from each one of these series, which is so annoying. Um, not all my books are here. Some of my books are at my parents, so it might be there or I've just lost it forever. I don't know. Um, the Giver as well. I don't have the full series. Um, and then I have the Face on the Milk Carton, which I don't know if anyone remembers, but it was like my first entry into kind of thriller. Um, and then this is a random series, like witchy, 
kind of teen horror-esque story. I was really into that for a hot minute. Um, and then down here I have all my music, my cookbooks, yearbooks, and then some miscellaneous, um, miscellaneous like nonfiction. Most of these are from when I was in law school, so. Is it gonna focus? So thanks for watching. That was my kind of bookshelf organization um, and mini tour, I guess. I know it doesn't look like super aesthetic. Now that I'm like really looking at it, it doesn't look that great, but gotta make do with what you have, right? <laughs>